What's going on guys? Back for another video here today. And today we got ourselves another rebuild obviously and it is the obviously San Antonio Spurs bubble rebuild. I it took a while for me to get this rebuild in for the purposes there's a lot of teams getting eliminated, so I was doing those first. So this is the last bubble rebuild when it comes to this teams that were eliminated that were in the bubble. Um so I am doing that obviously um, and then you know if you don't see videos out for the next couple days it's probably because waiting for uh, elimination you know um, we have some teams that have a chance to getting eliminated pretty soon um, so hopefully for one they get eliminated so I have a rebuild to do uh, and also not because that makes more content for my second channel uh, but hey, it's whatever, you know. Um, but anyway, really it's a win-win either way, so, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get in this rebuild here today. So today, so obviously we have the Spurs team. A lot of old and younger players on this team, obviously. So looking at this team, obviously we have Murray. Hopefully he's the fu future of this team. Obviously I want to keep him on this team for the future. Patty Mills, chances are, uh, I might get rid of him. We'll see. Uh, Derek White, definitely not the future at the starting shooting guard position. Not a bad player, but definitely not the future of this position. Um, I'll try to find somebody. I did put Walker in the G League. Hopefully he can become a good backup because I don't think I want him to be a starter. But he could maybe at one point. I don't know. Uh, DeRozan. I'll probably low-key trade DeRozan just for the trade value because I'm not going to re-sign him this year. Um... So I might just low-key trade him to a different team and try to get some value out of him. Um, Rudy Gay. Like, what's this contract looking like? $14 million for two years? Uh, that's not terrible. As long as he doesn't digress next year, I guess I'll keep him for, like, a backup. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then a Marcus Aldridge. Low-key, I might low-key put a Marcus Aldridge at, yeah, see, power forward because he goes up. And his contract's kind of kind of disgusting, but we'll, we'll keep him for a year to see how it goes, you know. And then if I don't have any money, probably in free agency, I probably should after getting rid of DeRozan. Uh, we'll get rid of him then. But he will have to be off the team at one point if he doesn't, you know, keep his overall up and play good. So, and then obviously I have him in the G League for the purpose of just hopefully he can be a good backup. Oh, well. so Pirtle probably chances are is going to be the starting our center for this year. Uh, Aldridge definitely going to be the starter for us this year, and then obviously Rudy Gay. And I get when I mean, yeah, Rudy Gay is going to be the backup for this year. Uh, Throws is definitely gone. We have also have this guy in the G. We're putting a lot of guys in the G League to hopefully develop them to be backups. Hopefully, maybe even stars. I don't know. And then Derek White, I think will be. Starting shooting guard just might as well we get from that uh, one trade, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna clean up some money on this team so we have some free agent money uh, because the Spurs ain't gonna really do much from with the talent that they have to rebuild with. So we're gonna have to clean up some money here to uh, for us to uh, bring in some free agents. But anyway, I'll see you guys when we get our first trade. Okay, here we are. We're actually gonna do this trade here. It does lose out on a player, but I'm fine with it. We're going to be trading uh, Patrick Mills, obviously, in his contract. Three f or four second-round picks and Derek White um, for the Wizards' first-round pick. Obviously, unprotected. I'm not sure if they're going to be good this year. They do have John Wall, obviously. But usually, a lot of times, they are still bad, but that pick might be useful. And then we're taking this guy and then this center. Just two bums for their pick, really. Um, if that pick turns out to be good or not lottery at all, uh, the Wizards definitely win this trade. But we don't lose it that bad because Derek White and Patty Mills are easy replacements. Nothing against those two players, but they're really easy to replace. Uh, but, yeah, this would be the trade. Okay, here's the trade. We got a big trade here right here. We're going to trade... DeRozan and Rudy Gay, two old guys with, you know, decent-sized contracts um, that we want to get rid of. Obviously, 
DeRozan is gone after this year anyway, so it's not like going to hurt this Kings team that bad. But he does have a player option, so it matters if he re-signs with that. You know, he could and fuck him completely up. Um, but we are still getting rid of Rudy Gay and his, four, or his $14 million for two years, or his $29 million overall. And we also give him a first-round pick. I'm okay with this because it's lottery protected. You know, so just in case if we are bad next year and we're in the lottery, we would get this pick back. So I'm fine with this. Plus, we get a young point guard in Fox that probably we're going to play at point guard, probably put Murray at shooting guard. I'm not sure really yet. And then we also get this guy also for one year that I'm not going to re-sign in the free agency. And we save a lot of money from doing this. So it's I feel like I'm winning this trade because I'm getting younger pieces. And plus, if I'm bad, I still get my pick. So I'm kind of winning this trade. And they lose one of them, but I do too. But they lose a bigger person. But anyway, uh, but this will be the trade. Okay, this will be the trade. We're going to be trading this guy and this guy and one of our first. So hopefully at that point, we don't really need it. Uh, for Duncan Robinson, he's probably going to play small forward for this or in Leonard. I don't know. He's just an expiring contract. But this will be the trade. Okay, here is the team for year one. Obviously, it looks pretty decent. But, uh, again, I'm not trying to win at all, but I could see playoff potential here. We obviously have Fox. We have Murray, Bogdan, and then we have Marcus, and then Portrol, and then we signed Collins out of free agency, Duncan Robinson to bring some shooting to the team, Gerald Green I brought to the team from free agency, um, I was Leonard, I guess, and then this backup center. Yeah, but yeah, this will be the team for year one. I'm not expecting anything big. If we miss the playoffs, I can care less. If we make the playoffs, I can care less. Really, this is just a, just to see what, for example, that wizard pick does for us, and then signing big free agents. I, I'm all I'm caring is about this off season. I can care less about what we do this season. Only if we win, but I don't think we're gonna win with this team. But I'm more focused to this offseason than I am for this season. But, yeah, we'll see what happens at the end of this season. Okay, here we are. Obviously, we had a bad season. I like it because, you know, I was expected to do much anyway. Giannis MVP. Ja, Rookie of the Year. Six men was Nurkic. Well, Kawhi was defensive. Most improved was Donches. And Coach Year was Doc Rivers. Obviously, we did not make the playoffs, but hope I will see you guys this offseason. Okay, here we are. Just showing you what our draft picks were. Obviously, we brought in, we drafted Obi Toppin. Chances are he's gonna play small forward. Uh, and then we also picked up this center here, obviously that played mellow ball. That's all I know about him, really. I uh, heard he's supposed to be a beast. Um, but he's a 77 overall, so hopefully maybe he can become the future at center or at least backup center. But yeah, this is gonna be the two draft picks that we did. And you'd be asking, okay, why'd we get seven? Well, actually, we had 10, but we traded with the Pistons to move up to 7, so we get some, you know, decent talent from either one. Uh, but, yeah, but these will be the pickups. Okay, here we are. And uh, this team's not looking too bad. Um, I like the team. Uh, I don't want to do any trading because I kind of like the team how it is. Aldridge might be gone. Well, this is his last year on his contract, right? So, yeah, he'll be gone after this year. And that's good because we can let him go and maybe go for somebody like the Greek Freak, maybe. Hopefully we have money for that. We'll see what happens. But anyway, we got obviously Fox. I got to check these contracts. So we're going to have to pay Fox this year. So we're not going to get the Greek Freak. So that is kind of, that kind of sucks. But hey, it's whatever. Just seeing all the contracts here. Okay, he's going to have to get paid. But we'll probably let him go. So was he. Yeah, let's do, let's do 11 man rotation. I need more center out there. Okay, but anyway, this is going to be the rotation for this year. We obviously got Fox, Murray, Obi Toppin, Aldridge. Um, him, and then we got Trick. We picked up Christian Wood. I don't really pick him up that often. We gave him a good, you know, three-year option there. Hopefully, he can get better and become great. <clears throat> and who knows? Maybe take Aldridge's spot. Who knows? Um, then we have Walker. We have Johnson. What the fuck happened to his eye? The hell. Um. And then we got uh Duncan Robinson there. And then we have Murray that we signed out of free agency also for a really nice deal. And then we have the guy we had last year that we had in the G League going to be playing. Um, and all these guys are going to be bench warmers. But anyway, this will be the team. I definitely think we could be a playoff team this year. I think the only person that probably is the reason we don't is probably Aldridge because he's digressing. He digressed, what, 
Actually, only on overall. Two because he upgraded, but he didn't play bad last year. He had 23 points. I think probably a season. No. Nope. Um, one point less than his best season, and that was on Portland in 2015. So, not too terrible on point-wise. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we make the playoffs, maybe give us a little spark. But, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Okay, here we are. Uh, I think we're definitely a playoff team for sure. We were two games off from 50 wins. But, um, Giannis MVP, Mellow Ball, Rook year, six man of the year, Bamba. Make Kawhi defensive, most prove his jaw. And then coach of the year was whoever's coach that is. I have no idea. I think it might be the Sixers. I don't know. It could be the Clippers. Who's the Clippers coach? Who's the Clippers coach? Show me the, show me the staff. Okay. Must be these guys. No, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. Two number one seeds, who knows? I don't know if it's us. Could be. I don't know. Uh, but we are a playoff team. We are a three seed. If I can find the lineup here, yeah. Uh, we'll just redo the lineup here just in case, you know, if we need to do any changes. They want to fly him in. Okay, cool. We got it. Uh, put him off the bench. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. They think he'll play better in the playoffs. We'll put him in. Put him in. Whatever makes us win, that's all that matters. So I am going to try to win this year and for on out, you know, obviously. So we are playing, obviously, the Nuggets here with their good team. They still have Porter, or still have Porter. Not a bad team in general. I can see us lose to this team, but uh, let's see what happens. Game one, we take it. Game two, we take it. Game three, we take it. Are we going to sweep them? Nah, okay. They're probably going to get... So they're in two games. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to game seven for a minute. Ooh, shit. Okay, we play in uh, the Warriors. Obviously, another good shooting team. They got Taylor. Everybody on the court can shoot, bro. Like, shit. Bench is pretty good, too. Uh, I'm not surprised they're a two seed, but if we lose, I'm not going to be that mad because they are a higher seed than us. But let's see what happens. Game one, they win. Game two, we win. Game three, they win. Game four, they win. Okay. They are, have a lot more scores on their team than we do, so I'm not going to be surprised if we lose because really scoring does it all. But we do win by one point. Aldridge leading the team with one three-pointer. <laughs> it's bad when Aldridge is your top scorer and you don't have a single person over 20 points. But, hey, we won the game in general. So, hey, at least we took two games on them. If we lose this game, that you know, hey, at least we took two games on them. Let's see what happens here. And the Warriors are going to fuck. Bro, look at the score, bro. They scored 40, almost 40 in the first two quarters, bro. Yeah, it, it's a GG. Just end it, bro. Oh, my God. They scored 47 in the fucking fourth. We lost by, like, what, 50 points? Damn. You didn't have to take us out like that. Curry with 54. God damn. Look at that shooting percentage. Damn, Clay Thompson was 8 for 8 from the three point line. He was 100% besides free throws. That's funny. He missed two free throws, but 100% everything else. Hey. Who played ass? Yeah, Aldridge, you're off the team, bro. You shot 0 for 3 from three point line. <laughs> Oh my god, I told you it's Aldridge. But hey, we'll see what happens in the offseason. We're definitely not bringing Aldridge. He's gone. He's done. Let's hopefully we can bring in somebody else or something like that. I'll see you guys probably this offseason. Okay, here we are. This is going to be probably the only trade we're going to do. Maybe trade Beverly. I'm not really th sure if I'm going to keep him on the team. But we're trade these two bums and a first-round pick that we got from a trade. And a second-round pick uh, for... Uh... Yeah, going to sign up or we're gonna pick up this center here to be our backup center because I switched our center to power four because he's gonna start for us this year okay here's the team going into year three uh, hopefully we can get farther than we did last year obviously the second round but we got Fox we got Murray will be top in and we have him now starting a power four and then we signed Steven Adams in free agency a little too big of a contract but I had money to spend and I'm like you know what let me hand it over to Adams 
and pick him up because there could be a chance I, you know, I don't think I'm going to go for Giannis, or Giannis this coming up year. Uh, actually, no, he wasn't even in free agency this year, so, you know, that does suck there. Uh, but this, obviously, yeah, he's just going to be the center. Probably for the rest, the Revo chances are, but here's the bench here. Obviously, we still got Wood. We got Johnson. We got, uh, we traded, obviously, for uh, Chris. And then we still have Walker. And then where we still have. But yeah, this will be a team that's a lot of balance. You can tell by the minutes. It's a really round, balanced team. There's two for each position that is playing. That's what I always try to make sure there is. But it, not always, you know. Sometimes there's a guard playing more than a center will. You know, and it's whatever. You know, it's one little change. But anyway, hopefully we do better more this year. And hopefully we can get farther, maybe even win. Let's see what happens. See you guys at the end of the year. Okay, here we are. We got Giannis as MVP. We got Cuttingham. And then we have DeMarcus as six man. Defensive, we got Kawhi. Most improved, we got that guy. Coach year, we have our lovely coach because we won 65 games and got the first seed. And my dumbass forgot if this is the third season or uh, third or yeah, this is the third season. I'm stupid, you know. Because you might be like, okay, it's obviously the third season. Why are you stupid and didn't know that? Well, there is a sometimes times where I just stop recording and then finish it later or something like that so I kind of forget so uh, but anyway we are on the third season that just came to my head uh, but we are playing the we're playing Dallas and obviously they got a good team obviously they have Marcus why does every time we play somebody they have one of our old ass players bro it always happens Anyway, you know, let's see what happens. They're an AC, but we're a first seed for a reason. So let's see what happens. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, they win. Okay, game four. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I thought so. I stopped. I thought I was going to stop that shit, bro. Come on. And now we playing the Lakers. It was a good team. They got, ooh, they got Derrick Rose. Okay, I like this team. I like this team. I like it. Let's see what happens. Game one, they win. Game two, we win. Game three, they win. Game four, we win. Game I don't know. All right. We were about to get upset, man. They're a good team, but come on, man. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Oh, my God. 25 points, 8 boards. I see you, man. I see you balling. Okay. Game 7. Let's see what happens. Whoever wins this game plays, uh, uh, who? I already forgot who. Let's go. We win by 5. Let's get it. We'll be topping with 33. Let's get it. Let's get it. And Fox had 13 assists, bro. Damn, bro. Okay, we were already better than last year, obviously, record-wise. And we're already better from just playoff-wise. And now we're playing the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, they're a good team. Again, we had another player that we had on our team at one point. Um, funny enough, they're starting Clark over... Jackson, but uh, again, another one of our players always happens, and another one of our players, you know, it's usual. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Game one, they take it. Game two, they take it. Game, bro, they gonna sweep us, man, in the conference finals. Please give us a game. Thank you. At least if we lose, at least we have a game. Damn, we're first seed and it's a third seed, bro. Can't believe we're going to lose to the goddamn Grizzlies out of all people, bro. We lost by three that game. But hey, we lost. You know, they get to the finals. But uh, yeah, uh, we're going to try to run it back. Okay, here we are. Going into the final season. Hopefully we can finally get the chip that we deserve. But we obviously have the same starting lineup. I guess we're starting Johnson this year. 
The same kind of team. Obviously, instead we have Michael Quarter Williams. Hopefully, he can do better. And then I'll see Jordan Bell to replace the two centers that we had to get rid of. Uh, but let's see what happens at the end of the year. I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are in week or week. Wow, here we are in uh, <laughs> number four. Year number four. And tell me down below. Uh, also, if you want to see like kind of like what I did with like Madden twenty, if you want to see like a franchise like the Bills. And see if you want me to do like a league on it or something like that, you know. Tell me that down below if you want to see like something like that. It's not going to be an online league because I'm already in one and I'm already so deep into it where there's really no point to um, really uh, skip, you know, like, you know, say, oh, okay, we're on week four, we're starting on week four, and I'm like 3-0 and or some shit on it, you know. Um, or, yeah, something like that. I don't know. It's one of three, week three or three week four. But hey, if you want to see late in the season kind of thing like that, tell me that down below. I guess I, I can think about doing it or not. I don't know. Um, no matters how I feel. Like at the same time, is like I want to put con certain content content out there for you. But uh, if I don't feel like I'm gonna have fun doing it, I'm not gonna post it. It's, it's got to be fun on both sides. But anyway, uh, here is the stats view. Okay, six man here. I see you. Okay. Uh, Coach Sears, obviously, we, or uh, Fizdale, okay. Is that the Knicks? Is that the lovely Knicks? No, I don't know who it is then. Is it the Hawks? It is the Hawks. They have Fizdale, okay, interesting. Who's our coach? Okay, the, not the coach I was thinking, but anyway. Uh, I think I forgot to show the stats, you know, I think the last two seasons. But here's the stats for this year. So it looks like Obi Toppin. Play like a, a god right there. Here's the stats for this season for all the players. Uh, and then here's the shooting percentages. If you guys care about those, you know. Uh, but uh, we are playing Golden State again, the team that I think we lost to last year. I think. Or was No. I think we beat them barely. I can't remember what team we lost to. I don't, I don't know. It, it, uh, oh, it was the Grizzlies we lost to, and they're a two seed. Okay. But let's see what happens. We won't have to play them to the conference finals if we get there. But this will be the last year, so hopefully we can win it all. Come on. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, they win. Game four, we win. Game five, can we beat them in five games? We do that indeed, and now we're playing the Denver Nuggets. They got Bobo at center. Okay, cheesy as fuck. Yeah, Parker. Okay, not a bad team. Not a bad team. Bobo, definitely a cheesy player. Let's see what happens. He drops 40. <laughs> game one, we win. Game two, they win. Game three, we win. Game four, we win. Game five, are we going to beat them? No, they're going to beat us. But we do win in six games, and the Grizzlies got upsetted. I like it, but that doesn't mean we're going to get past them so easily because, obviously, they got this far for a reason. And they got Rudy Gobert. Okay. They got uh, Luke Kennard off the bench. Okay, this team looking pretty goddamn nice. See some Ronnie Hood there. Got the number one seed, number two seed on that side, so it's going to be a tough matchup either way. But let's see if we can beat them. Here we go. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, they win. Game four, they win. Game five, they win. Okay, interesting. Whoever wins plays the Knicks. Hopefully we can win because hopefully we are the better seed. And we lose by, oh my god, we lost by seven. How did we lose this game? What are we talking about? Oh, yes, yeah. Mr. Zion shot 13 threes a game and made five of them. And we still fucking lost the game. But damn, hate. Oh, I thought Hayes shot 5 for 5. Who was the fucker that shot 5 for 5? Did I just see a 5 for 5 stat line? Yeah, I did. It was free throws. Okay. I thought it was threes. And I was always like, dude, Hayes even put up three threes. What is your three-pointer? Or is this somebody else? This is a different guy. I want to see your three anyway. I forgot a 93-pointer and brick three of them. I don't know. We lost, but uh, let's see who wins it all. I knew I was I'm kind of probably going to win with the Spurs. Spurs are kind of a hard team to rebuild. Uh, but it, it was a good series, obviously. You know, Cuttingham wins it all there. 
But uh, let me know down in the comments if you think we should win. I definitely think we should have won at least out of the last two years. Um, especially this year because this is the maximum we have. Oh, we probably should have started him. I don't think he was starting. I think he was. I don't know. It didn't matter because we got pretty far either way. But, yeah, this is the final team here. Tell me down below if you think we should have won. Again, I think we should have won at least one of the last two years. You know, or both. One of the two. Should have at least won one. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.